I was married on April 10th, 2015 to Faye in sunny Long Beach, one of the best days of my life. And I had looked forward to this day for so long, searching, looking, waiting for love. And so this day represented for so many years, I just waited for this celebration of a love found. I had finally found my bride, my wife. But what I've realized since then, looking back on that day, is that a wedding is not really so much a celebration of a love found, even though I had found my wife. No, a wedding is a celebration of a love promised, a love declared. The joy and beauty of Christian marriage is not compatibility. It's, it's not that people look in and say, wow, these two make sense together. No, the beauty of Christian marriage is Christ who shines forth as we love each other persistently, sacrificially, constantly dying to ourselves for the sake of someone else when it doesn't make any sense, when we're not compatible, when we don't deserve love from each other. Now, marriage is not a love discovered. Marriage is a love declared. The promises that you make before God and before all your friends and family on that day, they have a whole lot less to do with everything that happened before that day in your dating relationships and everything to do with the uncontrollable, unpredictable weeks and months and years ahead of you. We're not saying when we're at the altar, we're not saying, I really do love you. No, we're saying, I really will love you. No matter how hard it gets, no matter what comes, no matter how much I want to leave, I will love you. That kind of love will stand out in the world, and that kind of love will last long after many other people have given up in marriage. The best marriages are the hardest to explain, not because you're so different. You might be, my wife and I are very different. No, they're hard to explain because you're loving each other so passionately, so persistently, so sacrificially after years of conflict and inconvenience and pain, you're still there. People will ask, how do they still love each other so much? And we can say, because of Romans 5, because we've been loved like that by God. Romans 5 says, uh, while we were yet weak, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ came and died for us, not because we were the love of his life. No, we didn't deserve his love. No, he came and died to make us the love of his life. And that kind of love will be the kind of love that we should be looking for in marriage. And that will be a love worth wanting in marriage and a love worth keeping in marriage. A love declared, not discovered.